These are the instructions for an origami elephant. The first step for the origami elephant, pick out your sheet of paper, and we're going to make a diagonal fold. So start with a white side up, take the bottom corner, and fold it all the way up to the top. Try and get it where the, they touch as precisely as you can. And then once you have that locked down, go ahead and slide your finger down, and hold it in place so it's nice and flat, and then go out to the left-hand side, and then out to the right-hand side, just like that. We're going to open it back up and do the other diagonal fold. So the bottom corner all the way up to the top corner. Like that. Next, we're going to open everything back up again. And we're going to take one of the corners. It doesn't actually matter which one. We're going to fold it into the middle so it touches right in where that X is. So right in the middle of that corner. That's a single blintz fold. Next, we're going to do two kite folds. And the kite folds are going to come, they're going to start at this point, right here, and they're going to connect all the way down to the bottom point. So I'll show you when I fold this over, see how I'm getting it where it goes right up to there, and then I'm lining it up so it goes all the way down to the bottom as well. So you fold that over on one side. I'll show you how that makes that crease line right between those two. I fold that over there, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side where I fold this side over. It's going to touch the top point and then it's gonna come down and meet right at the bottom, like that. Next, we're gonna make the ears on the elephant. Go ahead and fold this panel out and out to the side. So it's gonna go right up to this point and slide out to there. And the same thing on the left. Fold that one out as well. So those are going to be the ears. And then next, we have a little bit of a pointy part here at the top. So I'm going to fold this down about that far. Not too much. It just sort of rounds the corners off like that. Finally, go ahead and flip it over. You can see a little bit. There is the elephant face. And now the fun part about this one is the trunk. What I like to do is fold it up and then pleat it back down a little bit, and then do that all the way down the trunk. So you have some nice ridges on the elephant trunk. And you can go up and down, and up and down. And then I make a little fold right at the bottom so that the trunk doesn't have such a point on it. And you can see here, he's got some nice ridges there. So there is the origami elephant.